Good morning, everyone, and welcome. <clears throat> of everything that I do as a United States District Judge, this is my favorite thing. We have approximately 150 applicants for citizenship here today. Last week, we did approximately 400 in Chattanooga. It's, uh, it's one of the most rewarding things that I do. Before we get started, I'd like to recognize some special guests. We have representatives of Senator Marsha Blackburn's office with us here today, representatives of Senator Bill Haggerty's office here, representatives from Congressman Tim Burchett's office, Congressman Chuck Fleischman's office, the Daughters of the American Revolution, the National Society of Colonial Dams of America, the Tennessee chapter, the League of Women Voters of Knoxville and Knox County, the Knox County Election Commission, Community Television of Knoxville is televising this, and the Public Building Authority, thank you for allowing us to use your space. Everyone, please join me before we get started in our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to United States Citizenship and Immigration Services for examination of our applicants for citizenship. Good morning. May it please the court, the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services within the Department of Homeland Security notified 150 persons representing 50 different nationalities to appear before the court this morning for the administration of the Oath of Allegiance proceeding. Of those so notified, 10 have failed to respond to the call of roll. Those failing to respond on service list number 414 are numbers 1330, 57, 68, 87, 89, 110, 119, and 141. The service would respectfully move at this time that those persons' application be set over to a later date due to their absence. Motion's granted. 30 of the persons here present before the court have requested to change their names as part of the naturalization proceeding. These requests appear to the service to be reasonable and the service offers no objection. The appropriate orders have been prepared and on the applicant's behalf, the service respectfully moves that those requests be granted as a part of this proceeding. So ordered. Among the applicants present, three desire to be admitted to citizenship upon a modified oath. Section 337 of the Immigration and Nationality Act provides for such admission upon presentation of evidence that the bearing of arms on behalf of any country and non-combatant service in the armed forces violate their religious training and belief. Section 337 Point 1B of Title 8 of Federal Codes of Res Regulations provides for such admission for other reasons of good conscience. Applicant number three has established to the service that Part 5A and Part 5B are in violation of her religious training. The, the service respectfully moves that Section 5A and Section 5B be deleted accordingly and that this applicant be admitted to citizenship upon a modif modified oath. So ordered. Applicants 95 and 112 have established to the service that Part 5A is in violation of their religious training. The service re respectfully moves that Section Part 5A be deleted accordingly and that these applicants be admitted to citizenship upon a modified oath. So ordered. Each of the persons here present before the court has been examined by an officer of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services Office. Each has been found to be a person of good moral character, attached to the principles of the Constitution, and well disposed to the good order and happiness of the United States. Each has demonstrated a satisfactory knowledge of the history and government of the United States and has further met the requirements of the law concerning the ability to read, write, and speak the English language. It is the conclusion of the service that each of the persons here present before the court is in all respects qualified for naturalization. Uh, on behalf of the government of the United States of America, I respectfully move that each of the persons here assembled to be admitted to citizenship upon taking the prescribed oath of allegiance. 
Motion's granted. Please administer. If each, each of you would please stand and raise your right hands. Please, please stand and yeah, raise your right hand. Do each of you hereby declare on oath that you absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty of which or to whom you have previously been a subject or citizen, that you will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law, or that you will perform non-combatant services in the armed forces of the United States when required by law, or that you will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by law, and that you would take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help you God. If so, please say, I do. Congratulations, you're now United States citizens. Please. Please proceed. As I said earlier, this is, uh, this is the, the one court proceeding that I have that I enjoy the most. Uh, everyone that is a citizen of the United States is uh, themselves an immigrant or their ancestors were immigrants at one time. I'm no differently. Now, my family came to what is now East Tennessee in the late 1700s, so we've been here a while, but we're products of immigrants, all of us. I encourage you to bring everything that is good and remarkable about your home cultures, but I also encourage you to embrace your new country. You've chosen it for a reason. It's not a perfect country, but I believe it's the best in our history and on the planet. Now, with your new citizenship comes quite a bit of responsibility. You're, you have many rights as U.S. citizens. I encourage you to embrace them. But one of the rights all of us have is to complain about our government. And I encourage you to complain about your government. But you forfeit that right if you don't register to vote. I encourage all of you to register to vote, to get a United States uh, passport when it comes time for you to travel. Travel on your United States passport. Welcome to the United States. I'm proud to have you as fellow citizens. Okay, we're going to start the presentations of the certificates. See the names on. Okay, cool. All right. Maria Jorge Cardoso. Antonio Almeida. George Basilka. Gail Basilka. Noah Basilka. Estrella Contreras. Beatrice Neely. Fradwan Santana Garopito. Catherine Awuto. Paula Medina Roja. Roshan Redway. Orlando Reyes Urbaneja, uh, Ginalyn Tillman, Tantin Makucha, Javier Serna Martinez, Gaida El Saidi, Deep Sony, Elvira Mematova.
It, it should he it should be in there. I don't. Okay. Mimitova, Mimitova. All right. Uh, Famida Arshad. <laughs> Divya Harjani. Matthew Ryan. Nilamban Patel. Natalia Riken. Oksana Pozimko. William Martinez Mendoza. Nidikumana Amadi, Edgar Rosales, Maria Burningham, Punam Nishal, Bella Doan, Hong Nguyen. Mai Lee, Laura Vasquez Hernandez, Charlita Boring, Alma Paredes, Gregonia Ranzi, Nahimana Scola. Chi Hong Ko. <laughs> Sophia Valdez Pinal. Mervy Kester Thomas. John Yariehi. Juliet Johnson. Thorsten Huth. Lasant Patel, Roman Ivanov, Mark Amoko Timin, Mara Cabrera Valdez, Maria Lira, Gabriela Rigetti, uh, Deborah Egbert. Sunataben Patel, Jiao Dasa Filho, Li Nguyen, Feni Patel, Rashma Ben Soni, Han Bo, Josel Garces. Elvira Cano. Gladys Galicia Chavez. Emerson Ortiz Valverde. Scarlett Gessner. Guadalupe Lopez Rodriguez. Tang Coop. Israel Zavala Garcia. Esther Nahimana. Elena Schultz. Book Nguyen. Aubrey Owenby. Samuel Stutz. Iskadas Ladera. Iori Moore. Basil Anaseri. Shrivsnavi Nara. Abdul Razak Kuradi. Carol Galindez Munoz. Joanna Rushlow. Esmeralda Arazo Galindo. Oh. 
Ellie Kim. Anita Ben Patel. Dira Soriano. Mujahideen Al Bultsari. Paru Kusho. Is it Marina Cochran? Livia Casali. Marnichelle Windham. Dhruv Kumar Patel. Michaela Kobian Jaime. Vitali Teraduchik. Sif Al Karamu. Duminda Lirukara. Rebecca Swanner. Sally Williams. Irina Jovmir. Yeah. Irina Jovmir. Hamza Arikabi. Hamza. Felix Santos Almonte. Olga Noriega Urbano. Ludmir Carreno Noriega. Ali Jalil. Stephanie Venterpool. Olawasei Almudun. Nat Danai Vis Visatmani. Jesus Orozco Payan. Christian Sanchez. Samuel Frizzi. German Samueluk. Andy Piptor. Katie Torres Espinal. Kasumbahin Patel. Sabrina Blackman. Katie Nguyen. Ai Hung. Vanessa Jaramillo Diaz. Woo! Jesus Coronado Alvarez. Anis Al Najar. Arik Lu. Angelina Yenazorov. Ching Ren. Julio Gianetti. Luz Nunez. Olga Barysheva, Olena Ivanova, William Herrera, Ian Spalatu, Win Windy Bretz, Danny Oscobedo Cano, <laughs> Pong Nguyen, yeah. Laura Rodriguez Vasquez. Rajiv Nashal. Roxana Toledo. Trupal Patel. Janal Patel. Hinaben Patel. Oh, Prashi Patel, sorry. Yeah. Purvi Patel. <laughs> Faida Yege. Vitor Sangirlami. <laughs> Beltar Cruz Montoya. Alexander Fuentes Perez. Rustam Alakulov. Guzal Alakulova. And Ana Lima Sanchez.
If anyone wants pictures with the judge, please start a single line on this side of the stage.